You told us that he came down the stairs and he was frantic. What was it about his demeanor or tone of voice that made you describe him as being frantic? It, his energy was very um, nervous and frantic and he was shouting. What did he shout? Get help, get security, get prints. And what did you do in response to Dr. Murray's shouting, get help, get prints, get security? I dropped what I was doing and I ran to go get prints. And where was Prince at the time that you ran to get him? The children were playing in the den, which is it's an open house layout. So the children were playing in the den. I saw Prince, and I went to go get him. Ms. Chase, please take a look at the exhibit previously marked as People's Eight. Can you turn the lights on, please? <coughs> Benson? Thank you. Ms. Chase, does People's Exhibit 8 permit you to show us generally where the den area would be off the entryway of this photograph? A little bit, yes. Can you use the pointer that you have up there to show us um, out that you took from the kitchen? From the kitchen to the den. So you're indicating on the right side of the photograph would be the kitchen area, and on the left side of the photograph would be the den area where you said that Prince and the children were playing, correct? Yes. So you went from the kitchen area to the den area to get Prince, correct? Yes. And what did you say to Prince when you went into the den area? I said, hurry, Dr. Murray needs you. There may be something wrong with your father. And what did Prince do? Prince and I then ran back into the kitchen. I went back to work, and he approached Dr. Murray. I'm sorry, the last part again? He approached Dr. Murray. Who approached Dr. Prince. Murray? Prince. Showing you again, people's number 34. Does this photograph allow you to show us with the pointer where Dr. Murray was situated when he shouted to you to get Prince, get security. Yes, right in there. The stairs right there. May the record reflect the witnesses indicating the banister area of the stairway. Your Honor, would the court um, turn the lights down, please? I, I, I would ask, please. Ms. Bob, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Chase, would you show us again with the pointer, please? Right there. May the record reflect the witnesses indicating the uh, midpoint of the stairs um, parallel or horizontal with the um, window area. I can count the banisters. Well, we can just put a little mark on it, whatever is easier. It's the seventh banister down. Thank you. You're may I approach? Sure. May we uh, turn up the lights? Yes, please. May we? Come on. Ms. Chase, I'm handing you the exhibit previously marked as People's 34, and I'm handing you a pen. If you would please place the letters CM in an area where you indicate that Dr. Murray was standing when he came down the stairs and shouted at you to get prints, get security, get help. That's a misstatement of her testimony, Your Honor. It was get help, get security, get prints. I'm so sure there's a difference. Well, it's a different order. Overruled. Your Honor, may the record reflect that Ms. Chase has placed CM on People's 34. Thank you. <laughs> Ms. Chase, please direct your attention again to People's 34. Do you see the initial CM? Are those the initials that you placed reflecting the location where Conrad Murray was standing when he came down the stairs and shouted at you to get help? 
Yes. And that location accurately reflects where he was standing, correct? Yes. And at that point, after he yelled for you to get help, you went and got Prince in the den area and Prince and you returned to the kitchen, correct? Yes. Did you see Prince go up those stairs to the second floor area? No, I did not. When you returned back to the kitchen, could you still see Dr. Murray in the stairway area or was he gone? I went back to work. So were you able to see whether Dr. Murray was still in that area when you returned to the kitchen or did you not notice at all? I did not notice. Ms. Chase, when the defendant came down the stairs and he asked for you to get help, get security, get prints, did he ever direct you or request that you call 911? No. So you made a decision to get prints, correct? Yes. And why is it that you made that decision of the requests that the defendant made of you? The decision I made was because Prince was in my eyesight. And at that moment, Dr. Murray was very frantic and very disturbed. The first thing that I thought of was to immediately get some help, and that's the fastest, first person, fastest thing that I could do. And in fact, he had shouted at you to get Prince, correct? Yes. And did you ever go up the stairs or did you remain in the kitchen? I remained in the kitchen. In the residence, are there security personnel inside the residence or are they situated outside the residence? They're situated outside. Which is closer to you in the kitchen? The area where Prince was located in the den area or the location where the security guards remain where Prince was. After Dr. Murray shouted at you, what was the next thing that happened? You said you returned to work. What was the next thing that happened? After I returned to work, I started working and then I started seeing staff members, housekeepers crying. And where were the housekeepers when you saw them crying? They were close in between the foyer and the kitchen area. So any people's number Does the photograph, People's Exhibit Number 8, allow you um, to indicate the area in the foyer area where you saw the housekeepers crying? Yes. Is it in this foyer area between these two areas? Yes. Your Honor, may we have the lights turned down? Please. please? It's hard to see the photograph with the lights on. Thank you. You're welcome. And Ms. Chase, in this photograph, The kitchen area is back here by the windows, correct? The, do the doorway through the kitchen area is back here by these windows. Is that accurate? Yes. Yes, that is. Do you see where my pointer is yes. pointing yes, there? Mm -hmm. And the er that would be the area that you walked through to go to the den area to get prints, correct? Yes. Now, you said that you saw the housekeepers, they were crying and they were in this foyer area, correct? Yes. And from this vantage point, we're looking from the front door area to the back of the residence, correct? Yes. 
And what, if anything, did you do when you saw the housekeepers crying in the foyer area? I approached them. I asked them why they were crying. They said there may be something wrong with Mr. Jackson. We think Mr. Jackson may be ill. And at that point, I had seen the children in the, that area. I left my area, came into the foyer right around in the kitchen area, saw the children there and the housekeepers. The children were crying and screaming. And the next thing we did, we started hugging and we came together and we held hands and we started praying. Neither one of us knew what was going on at the time, but the energy in the house did not feel good. It was not the energy that I have always felt in this home that I've worked for in the time that I was with Mr. Jackson and his children. Not at all. all right. Your next question. When you say you came out of your workstation area, you came from the kitchen area into the foyer area, so it would be the area visible in People's Number 8, correct? Yes. And the housekeepers were there, and the children at some point joined you and the housekeeper. Is that correct? Yes. And you said that the children, Paris, Prince, and Blanket, were crying and screaming? Yes. And did all of you, including the children, join hands and pray? Yes, in a circle, yes. While you were in the foyer area, Ms. Chase, did the paramedics arrive? While I was in the foyer, I had did, seen... Did the paramedics arrive while you were yes. in the foyer? Thank you. Yes. What did you see when you were in the foyer area? I saw paramedics running up the stairs and security skipping stairs running up the stairs. Were the children still with you? Yes. <laughs> what did you see next? At that point, we were still huddled together and we were still unknowing of what was going on. Ms. Brazil, do you need the lights off? No, you can turn them on. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. May we please, Ms. Wild? So, Ms. Chase, you and the housekeeper were trying to comfort the children? Yes. And the paramedics and the security personnel went upstairs in a very rapid manner, correct? Yes. Did you and the children remain in the foyer area, or did you go to some other area in the residence? No, I remained in the foyer with the children. And then what happened next? Shortly after, I was asked to leave the premises. And who asked you to leave? Security. And that would be, did everyone leave the housekeeper as well? All of the personnel left? The housekeepers and myself were asked to leave. Ms. Chase, was this day, June 25th, 2009, a very difficult day for you emotionally? Absolutely. It was, my heart is still broken. It was a very devastating day to me. And after you left the residence, your employment with the Jacksons obviously was over, correct? Overall, you may answer yes or no. Yes, it was. Shortly after, in the days after Michael Jackson's death, did you meet with Detective Scott Smith of the Los Angeles Police Department to provide a statement about what you had seen and heard that day? Yes. Ms. Chase, after Mr. Jackson's death, were you contacted by various media outlets asking you questions about what you knew? Overall, you may answer. Yes, I was. 